Hello, my name is Bryn Gillette, if you haven't met me yet, and it has been such an honor to work with the YMCA uh, for this project of painting for the prayer chapel. So thank you for uh, giving me some space and time to describe what it is that I have done and am doing and would prayerfully hope to do in collaboration with you. Uh, if you haven't met me, uh, some know me as Brother Bryn. Um, I am first and foremost a passionate follower of Christ. And uh, I am the husband for 18 years to Kirsten and the father of Kai, Kea, Skylar, and Lily. Actually, you can see their picture behind me. And I'm sitting now at the end of a work day at uh, Charlotte Christian School, where I am the high school art teacher. Um, I was tasked to be the visual scribe for uh, the current YMCA and for the prayer chapels. And what I mean by that, and actually where that stemmed from, is I have been for about 15 years partnered with churches and ministries where uh, kind of live and in real time, I'm asking the Holy Spirit, uh, what are you doing? Uh, either on behalf of an individual or on behalf of a church service or of a ministry and saying, Lord, what are you speaking in real time? And my job is to maybe both articulate that with words, but especially capture that in images. Uh, and something that documents that and can kind of be a Rehoboth or a monument, something to look back on and remember. Um, and so I've done that in prayer services. I'm thinking specifically of one where uh, it's actually titled, Father, What Are You Doing? And with someone kind of in that posture of open-handed prayer, receiving from the Lord um, direction and a timely kind of rhema word. Uh, I've also been an artistic ambassador, uh, namely to the nation of Haiti. I, I spent um, multiple years, about four years, back in starting in 2010 when the uh, earthquakes hit. Ironically, an uh, earthquake hit last time. So uh, just these last couple of weeks, we've gone through a recurrence of this theme. But um, for four years, I really served the nation of Haiti, asking that same question on the scale, Father, what are you doing for this nation? And that grew into what was later a project with the, with the uh, Lausanne movement. So many of us know uh, Leighton Ford was one of the chairmen there, the honorary lifetime chairman now um, of the Lausanne movement, started by Billy Graham and John Stott, really unifying the entire global Protestant or evangelical church and really defining what that means and looking at the bride with a capital B. Uh, and it's been an honor to work with them. And so... Um, it's a whole other story, but the miraculous way that I was kind of brought to this area through uh, God's leading with our family, but reconnected with Casey Crimmins, uh, who I know many are familiar with through the YMCA, uh, and Leighton Ford, um, and then through our church to uh, Jeannie Weekly and, and Tammy, and, uh, and got brought into this project of doing a, a painting for each of the prayer chapels. So that began with uh, the Everett Prayer Chapel at the Dowd YMCA, kind of built around the, the key verse of the woman at the well. Uh, and these in, like that, that, that would be a space where people would encounter the Lord and be able to drink from his living water. And the second commission was for the Harrison YMCA camp, where uh, my kids were able to go. In fact, our whole family spent a week this summer as well. And we created an image which was based around the Matthew passage of let the little children come to me, or let all the children come to me. And this expansive, open-armed Jesus uh, being at the heart, the very heart of what happens there at that camp, and the Ruth and Billy Graham Chapel at the very center of that camp, at the center of the painting, at the center of the mission. And it was fun to watch um, campers interacting with that this summer. And the new, the third project that I'm just in formative, embryonic, moment right now and we'll be looking for input and shape and prayer from from the group is the Stratford Richardson and really uh, the key verse is still to be chosen but the theme will certainly be about uh, inclusion and equality and the idea that in Christ uh, what is so divisive in humanity and in culture has been reconciled and made whole and so that will be the prayer for this and if I am to to share anything even as that individual project grows, one of the unique new things that's really bubbling up in my heart is that I have this option 
or this opportunity along with the YMCA to step back with the leadership. And I feel a call to say, Father, what are you doing in our city? That's been the scope and scale of the conversation, not just what's happening in this unique why or that unique why, but Lord, what are you doing in the city of Charlotte? What is the unique call? And could the entire series of paintings, uh, however many that might be, if there truly will be one for each of our locations, you know, 16 or 17 locations, then that that entire series collectively and maybe gathered at one point together could be an inc- like uh, almost like all the different pillars gathered in a, in a room saying, Lord, what's your comprehensive vision to see restoration and full health and wholeness to our city? And I really believe that if we were to prayerfully engage with that, that there are already the seeds of that whole story that each YMCA carries a unique kind of facet of that and emphasis of that, but to almost be more uh, intentional and scripted in, in how that would look. So I would love to prayerfully engage with the group and say, could we look at what the Lord might do visually through a series of paintings of God's heart for the entire series, the entire city of Charlotte, the entire uh, greater area with all of these individual YMCAs kind of part of a greater whole. And uh, I look forward to what comes out. So thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the privilege to uh, serve alongside you with my gift.